Yeah, we will. Incredibly beautiful out here. shower room machine is for. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is so cool.
piece of a hive. are going to die. looking pipe. buildings for. In the year 1841, a man named Sofio Henkel would find copper around the area that would become Fierro in Hanover. However, a couple years later he was forced out by the Apache Native Americans. In the late 19th century, the mines would begin to open, and Hanover would become a zinc mining town. Its post office, which is still in operation today, would open in 1892. Despite this early mining, it wouldn't be until the early 20th century that Hanover would reach its full potential. The largest mine in Hanover, whose head frame still looms over the town, was owned by the Empire Zinc Company. 
Throughout the 1940s, tensions would rise between the white and Hispanic workers of the mines. The Hispanic workers were being paid less than their white counterparts, and in the year 1950, 140 workers would quit their jobs. Due to the unfair work conditions. As the protesting got worse, the Empire Zinc Mining Company would issue restraining orders to all miners who were picketing and protesting. It wouldn't take long for their wives and children to pick up the pickets and protest in their state. The situation got so bad that at one point, a one-month-year-old baby and her picketing mother were jailed for a night. The Empire Zinc Mining Company would finally cave in January of 1952 and finally provide the Hispanic miners with what they were owed. Two years later, a movie called Salt of the Earth would be created, based on the events that happened in Hanover. However, those involved in the creation of the movie were blacklisted from Hollywood after allegations that they were members of the Communist Party. All mining operations in Hanover had stopped by the 1970s, and most of its current residents work for the nearby Chino Mine. For some reason, these things just scattered all over the place. I'm not sure what they are. Or why they're just everywhere. But they look pretty cool. I want to go down further. But it's right next to the road. And I don't want to run the risk of being spotted. Still, though. Really beautiful place, really cool building. Let's gonna take a, a quick look see right around here. thing that looms over this place is the Chino Mine. It's an open pit copper mine. It's an incredible sight. The thing is massive. Yeah, but they're broken off. Look at that. That is so deep. My fucking god. No, you probably can't see it, but that shit is deep as Can you see the bottom? Can't even see the bottom. Hey, you wanna know how listen to this. Look out look out. Listen. Drop like this freaking indirect fire coming. No, no. Wait, shush, shush. With the car. Okay, I'll be straight. Alright. Listen. Eh, that is deep. 
Another car coming. Is that the floor? Another car. Another car. It's a four wheeler. Four wheeler guy from earlier. No. Firefighter, you said. It was a four wheeler. Alright, let's uh, yeah, let's head back of down. Logs on the back of it. <laughs> Anyways, let's see how deep this is. Holy oh, shit. Oh, it's still falling. I didn't even hear it. It dinged and then it went down. Yeah, and it it, it else. curves. It curves in. Yeah. Let's try it again. It curves. Everybody ready? Yeah, shh, shh. So it's not straight down. It's still. You can hear it rolling. It hit three times and kept going. Okay, let's get out of here. That's cool as heck. <laughs> what an incredible place. Time to head back down. And it's the start of a hell of a horror movie. And this wind goes down there. Hanover is a small part of New Mexico's mining history, but its untold tales will now forever be remembered. Places I can barely remember People I no longer know Here is my granddad Looking so proud and strong And here he's singing something I'll never know song I see the generations of those who lived before me through their voices the song is sung